In this video, we want to talk about trip planning. It's one of the most important things we can do while receiving a dispatch or a pre-plan. When empty, always plan to break near a washout and send a free-form message to dispatch with your availability to be able to reload. After receiving a pre-plan from dispatch, be sure to plan the time and the miles and communicate as quickly as possible if you're able to haul that load and commit to on-time pickup and delivery. One of the things we need to make sure and do is communicate with dispatch. Note any delays, running ahead, differences between the bills on the Qualcomm. Never take a loaded or empty trailer home or leave unattended. Plan ahead and ask where we need to drop the empty for best utilization before home time. You'll always want to send dispatch your ETA and PTA over the Qualcomm or call if you need to be more specific. Always scale the load the first chance you get. You can also use a Macro 19 for any customers, whether it be a pickup or delivery, will usually tell you where the closest scale location is. When empty, we would always prefer you to wash out the trailer immediately after delivery if the time is available. You can always call the fuel desk for a washout PO. Every trailer will need to be dropped clean and full of fuel into customers and always do a pickup and trailer inspection report which is a Macro 41 and a Macro 55. It's best to fuel the trailer within two hours for our reefer fuel reimbursement program. You must scan these reefer fuel receipts for the reimbursement. One other important thing we need to do when trip planning is do our pre-trip inspections. We need to report any issues to road assist that we may have with any equipment or trailers on the, on the way to pick up a load. We don't want any of these interfering with any on time or service issues. Make sure you are confident in how to correctly use the Qualcomm and the reefer unit in Teleset settings. If you have any questions, be sure to contact dispatch. Never break a seal unless directed to by the customer. Seal integrity is an important part. Be sure never to break the seal unless instructed to by a receiver. Always make sure your seal number is written on your copy of the bills and the shipper's copy of the bills. When you get to a receiver, make sure they sign for the seal intact. As always, be professional and courteous at shippers or receivers. And that's the things you'll need to do when trip planning in the Prime Advanced Fleet program.